One of the quickest and easiest ways for you to get started learning Python and applying your knowledge is by building a retirement calculator. Hey everyone, I'm Josh Matlock. I'm a senior data analyst. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to build this in Python in just three simple steps. This is a very, very basic retirement calculator. I am not a finance professional, so take what I say with a grain of salt, but it can be used as a basic starting point and you can tweak this as necessary to make it as complex or simple as you would like. There's gonna be three steps here. Step one, you are going to come up with your FIRE number. Now FIRE is basically what is the number you're comfortable with to retire right now? What would that number be for you to retire? How much money do you need in your bank account? An easy way to come up with that is just taking your annual expenses and multiplying that by 25. Step two, we're gonna build a calculator that will show you how long it will take for you to achieve that number given certain inputs that we'll be coming up with. And finally, we're gonna come up with a calculator that will show you given X number of years, how much you should expect to have saved up in the stock market. All right, I've done enough talking, so let's dive right into it. Now we already did our first step of coming up with our fire number. The next step we need to do is write our function. Now a function is simply a thing that takes items and it spits something out. That's all a function is. Uh, to build that function, we're gonna write DEF. That's the syntax to get a function started. I'm gonna call this how soon. That will be our function name. And then we're gonna put in some parameters. Those parameters are going to store some number, but first I need to name them. And there's gonna be four things that we're going to plug into this function. Or we're gonna plug in our fire number. We're gonna plug in our balance in our 401k. So the amount that we currently have sitting in a 401k. Uh, we're going to factor in the expected rate of return on the 401k. So I'm gonna call that the rate. Finally, we're gonna come up with the amount that we're going to pay into the 401k with each paycheck. So I'll say paycheck, or I'll just say deposit. All right, I'll just call it deposit. And now I'm ready to start writing the logic for that function. I have to incorporate those inputs somehow and have those be processed into an output. So first I'm gonna build a loop in this function. So what a loop does is it's going to perform some kind of action until it is told to stop due to triggering some condition. In this case, it's going to be, uh, we're gonna have that loop run until it reaches the fire number. So this balance that we have, it's gonna, there's gonna be stuff added to that balance and that's gonna be our deposit and that's gonna keep going up by an annual rate until it reaches that fire number. So to build that, I'm gonna say while B is less than or equal to fire, actually let's say less than fire, take that balance and we're going to apply the rate to that every year and then we're going to add in the amount that we pay into the 401k also at the end of the year, but that's not going to get the interest applied. That's gonna happen the next year. I know that's not the best assumption, but eh, this is a really simple retirement calculator. You can make it as complex as you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the money we already have, B, I'm gonna say asterisk equals and then rate. What that's gonna do is it's going to say, take that balance, multiply the rate into it so that it increases, and then store that value. It's gonna do that every iteration of that loop. It's gonna keep going through that loop until it reaches that fire number. But that's not all. In addition to that, we also want to say B plus equals deposit. What that's gonna do is it's gonna say, all right, take that balance of let's say $100,000, let's say the the rate of return is 10%, it's gonna go up to $110,000. And then let's say we deposit like $1,000 every year. Then it's gonna take that $1,000, add it in to give you $111,000. And then the next year that cycle repeats, that $111,000 is going to be given another bump uh, by 10% and then the next deposit is going to take place. Okay, one last thing that we need to do here is we need to keep track of the number of years that are elapsing. So I'm gonna add a line of code right above the, this while loop. I'm gonna say i equals zero. That's gonna represent our number of years. Actually it'd be better just say years equals zero. And then I'm gonna say 
while that loop is happening, there's going to be this years that's going to be incremented by one. So that's going to add one every time it goes through that loop. So to summarize what this function is doing, it's going to start by defining years as equal to zero. It's going to initiate this loop that says, while we have this money in our 401k and that amount is less than our fire amount, take that balance, multiply it by this annual rate, increase it by that amount, okay, and then add our annual deposit into our 401k from our work, and then increment the year by one, one year has elapsed, keep going until you've reached that fire number. So to wrap this first function up, I need to return something to output that number that we're calculating in the function. So I'm going to say return. Return is one way to end a function, and I'm going to just return the years because we want to know how soon we can retire given all this information right here. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to do control enter. That's going to lock in that that function. All right, so now I'm going to see if this function is working. So I'll type how soon and deposit amount's going to be uh, let's say $750 per, uh, per paycheck times 26 paychecks throughout the year. I'm going to say 5.5% for the rate of return in the 401k because we tend to get a 8.5% increase every year, but some of that is going to be nullified by inflation, maybe around 3%, so giving us a 5.5% increase. All right, so for our balance, let's say I already have 100000 in my retirement, and then finally, my fire number, the number I need to retire, which I calculated is 2.28 million. So how soon can I retire? 33 years. I'm going to be like 66 by the time I retire. Now, if we wanted to be even more fancy, let's see if we can show what's happening every single year in that loop and how much money we'll have year by year. So I'm going to erase return years, and I'm going to say instead print, and I'm going to say print f uh, hyphen hyphen this is going to enable us to insert some of the variables from this function into a string of characters and between the quotes where you see the green here where i'm typing that's going to be text that white section here is going to reflect the variables that are being calculated here uh, this shouldn't be i this should be years and then I'm going to say after um, this number years, you will have some amount of money that will be B. All right. So every single time this loop is happening, it's going to print out this message. So let's commit that by doing Control Enter, and then let's do that again. Now we can see that line by line account of how much money I have every single year of leading up to the final year that I finally get all that money to retire. All right, now let's look at this a different way. Let's say I don't care about my fire number. I just want to know how much money I will make in my 401k after 30 years or 40 years or 50 years, some number, X number of years that I'm going to work. So to program that, I'm going to basically just copy what I have here, and I'm gonna tweak that function just a tiny bit. I'm gonna take out that fire number because we don't care about that anymore for this function. I'm just gonna call that X number of years. And then instead of how soon, I'll call this function how much. Now, this is looking good here. I still wanna keep these years because I still wanna keep track iteratively of those years. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna modify this while loop a little bit. So instead of waiting till we get to fire and comparing that to the balance, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, well, years is less than X number of years that we're going to be working. And then I'm gonna take this return statement, this print statement, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna write return B because if it were, if I had this, that would have just returned everything every single year. I'm just going to say return the balance at the very end when that function is, or when that loop is complete. So return B, control enter. I'm going to add a new cell here, and I'm just going to steal what we had up here. And I'm just going to change this. I don't want to work for 2.28 million years. That would be too long. 
So let's say, eh, I'm gonna work for 40 years. Well, I would make $3.5 million in my 401k by the time that I take that money out and I'm 73 years old, ready to retire. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment down below and consider clicking those like and subscribe buttons. It really helped me a lot in growing my channel. I'm gonna have so much more content planned for the future. I'm gonna have Python tutorials, SQL tutorials, career advice, uh, the healthcare industry. Stick around and I'll see you in another video.